Marshall University is taking multiple steps to help children affected by the drug epidemic, including two new programs. 13 News reporter Alex Wilkins takes a look at the resources that are coming to the tri-state area. More than 6,700 West Virginia children are in foster care, according to the Department of Health and Human Resources, and many of those are because of the area's drug crisis. They are the innocent bystanders and are the, you know, considered to be victims of crime. Marshall is helping lead the fight for them and just received a $750,000 grant to connect impacting kids with better resources. The children are in need of special services to help them become grounded again because once you lose your parents to the legal system and then you're moved to a different place your whole world is just tipped upside down. Marshall plans to take the funding they've received and use it to implement a new program in four elementary schools in Cabell and Wayne counties. They could see a, a huge need for this in the school because you know these kids are they're having difficulty with their studies and oftentimes they're seeing behavior problems problems from the, the students that they wouldn't ordinarily see. Marshall also just received another grant to help the many grandparents having to step in and raise those children. Things are different when you're older and you're raising your grandchild who may be traumatized. You know, they're coming to them and maybe they have behavioral issues. Marshall will soon offer support groups for local grandparents going through that, offering them resources and even child care during meetings. We want to provide them the information that they would need in order to know where to go to get the resources that they need, um, whether it be uh, child care, you know, support, grief counseling, any type of therapeutic counseling. In Huntington, I'm Alex Wilkins, 13 News, working for you. The group developing the new elementary school program says they hope to begin working with students as soon as January.